All right, so welcome today. What we're gonna do is really, we, we can do this in our notes book or we can just do it on a sheet of paper. Really, this is about practicing how to use the periodic table that you can have a paper version of or you can be have a tab open. And what I wanna do is show you how to draw that. And so it's really moving from one of these squares to, um, to a drawing. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do beryllium here just because it's a little different than some of the others. So I'm gonna basically redraw that square. So I'm gonna draw a little rectangle up here on the top. And I'm gonna look and see, okay, beryllium has the number four at the top here and the number 9.01 at the bottom. And the symbol is BE. So I'm gonna put BE here, 9.01 and a four like that. And actually, I might, while I'm at it, I might draw this thing, which we know now is the electron configuration. So I'm going to put those two numbers in the box as well, two and two. So the next thing I want to do is I want to be able to interpret this into some kind of um, a drawing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember for myself that this number down here, this number nine, is telling us how heavy the nucleus is. So the, my sort of shortcut for drawing up an atom is I'm gonna take that number, I'm gonna round it off, which means I'm gonna treat it like a dollar amount. I'm gonna make it to the closest dollar. So in this case, it's just nine. And I'm using pencil because I, I don't like to make mistakes with this. So I'm gonna just draw nine particles that are gonna be clumped together in the nucleus. And I find that if I draw the total nucleus to begin with, oops, um, then I, it's sort of easier for me to sort of imagine this. So I have nine. I know that number is nine because this is the total number of particles in the nucleus. So I'm going to draw a nine down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to recognize that this is made of protons and neutrons. And so I know that this number, which is called the atomic number, is equal to four. So what, I, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the convention of a plus sign to represent my protons. So like at some point we'll talk about the fact that these things are charged, but we're not gonna focus too much on those. We're just gonna notice that we have four of those things that are with positive signs or protons. And so we're gonna draw that. Now we've drawn the nucleus of this atom. We didn't have to do any math really. We just took care of that. Now I'm gonna now draw the Electrons. So we can see from this that there's going to be two rings. Um, and so I'm going to draw the first ring. And we see it's got two electrons in it. So for me, I'm just going to make a negative sign here like that. And I'm going to put my two electrons in there. Those are going to be, though we are going to find are negatively charged. Then I'm going to draw the second ring. And this one also has two electrons in it. And usually they're sort of spaced out on this ring as far apart from each other as they can be. And that's that's all she wrote. Now what we need to do is have a little key. So I'm gonna have P equals, um, and I'm gonna do electrons next, E equals, and N equals. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna designate the the structure of, you know, what I'm going to use to represent them. So I'm using a circle with a plus. I'm using a particle or a circle with nothing in it, which sort of, oops, not, sorry, sorry, for electrons, it's the negative sign. And then I've got a circle for neutrons, which has nothing in it, which makes sense because neutrons turn out to be neutrally charged. Now I'm just going to write my numbers. So I've got four protons four electrons, and I have to go up and count neutrons, one, two, three, four, five, which makes sense because four, or nine minus four is five, and so I've got five neutrons. And that's essentially how we draw an atom. And so what I'd like you to do is to draw, you know, to draw this and um, take a picture of it, put it in your, on the slide for me.